back to Critical Flick. Today we're going to be talking about A Quiet Place. Alright guys, I'm sure you've heard this from everybody around the world, but this movie is directed by John Krasinski, star John Krasinski, and he has a writing credit on the movie, so Jim from The Office branching out, doing yes. work, and I, you know, I like that. So the stops of this movie is pretty simple on its face. It's a post-apocalyptic world. You have these, like, as you've seen from the trailer, there's something out there and you can't make any noise. And that's pretty much it. This movie is basically about a family in this post-apocalyptic world trying not to make any noise and trying to survive. And that's pretty much it, dealing with what that would be like. Overall, the performances in this movie are pretty good. Like, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt, they're so good together. Obviously, they're married in real life. And they just have chemistry exploding on screen. Yeah, I thought that they had really good chemistry. I think that you could definitely see that they were together in real life. And this isn't just, you know, a fantasy world for them. And there were some really heartfelt moments. I was surprised this movie did have, this movie did have a couple really heartfelt moments. Especially between the two main characters, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt's character. And even between the children in the film. And I liked that. I liked the family dynamic. Yeah, I really like that part of the movie. Um, there's some moments that are like, you feel like you're on the verge of crying, but you don't because then something else happens. But I really like the family dynamic as well. Yeah, it was interesting in a movie like this, like a hard tension, post apocalyptic thing to see like a family working together. So I don't want to give away a whole lot about the creatures that are in this movie or the creature or anything like that. I don't want to. I want it to be a little bit surprised because they don't show in the trailer, and I liked that about the trailers. You do know that it's like some kind of monster thing going on, but you don't know what it is. You don't know where they come from or anything like that. And I will say they were kind of unoriginal. They reminded me of something, something a little strange, something that you guys might recognize from other type of movie show thing. And I didn't like that. I wanted something a little more original. And it kind of just felt like more of the same what we've been seeing lately with monsters in movies. There's some really cool sound designs in this movie, especially with the one girl. She is deaf in real life, and then she also plays deaf in the movie. And I liked how they would go mute when it focused on her character, and you could feel and sense how she's feeling. And then it would go right back to normal for the boy who's her brother and it was this very cool like way to shift and yeah. put you on the edge a little bit because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah it was a cool juxtaposition seeing this like completely soundless quiet it's like in this chaos of sometimes what's going on it's completely silent for her and then you see kind of the outside world and it's this clash and it's interesting seeing that and I really like the sound design because the use of sound is really well done in this movie because it focuses so much on the sound. That's the main driving point of the film. So when it's really loud, it's kind of jarring and scary. And when it's really quiet, it creates that un uneasy tension. So the flaws, like we were just talking about the sound, there are some flaws with sound in this movie. I don't... It kind of falls towards the end of this movie as well. And it gets like, I don't know why that's happening. Yeah, it, it had a problem of not following its own rules. Early on in the film, it sets a precedent for how this whole movie is going to go, how these creatures operate, how this film is going to work. And especially when you get later on in the movie, that just doesn't, it kind of falls apart. And there's multiple things in the movie that just, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but there's no way that certain things could happen without a lot of noise. There's no way that these characters could be in the situation that they're in without a ton of noise. And it makes you feel like a little noise is going to bring them, like the littlest, slightest sound is going to bring these things and they're going to attack everybody. But And then they make noises and noises are made and they don't come. And then other times they do come in. You know, I just, I thought that could have been really hard line or be a little looser about it. And it kind of switched back and forth. A plus on the cinematography though in this movie. I really liked some of the shots and it just kind of like, you know, made your eye follow throughout the movie and kind of see, like, everything in the surrounding. Really like that. Yeah, I like the lighting was really good because a lot of this movie actually takes place at night, which is kind of hard with some movies to do that. And I thought that helped to the element of the film. It had some really cool, like, dusk and dawn lighting, which I liked. It took place in a really cool rural post-apocalyptic setting, which I liked as well. So, yeah, that kind of stuff I liked, but, again, just needs to follow its own rules. So if I were to rate this movie, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. I think it could have been a lot better. I think that if it just 
stuck with what it seemed like it was starting to do. It could have been really, really good. I thought it had really good tension. I love that. I love that my movies. I thought it had good acting. But at the end of the day, I think it could have been better. And I think I was expecting a little more than it could have delivered. I'd give this movie as well 7 out of 10. I really enjoyed the concept of the movie. I love the acting. Uh, John Krasinski is kicking butt, and I like that. And, um, again, the ending fell short for me a little bit. You may like the ending, you may not. Um, but there's just some flaws with the sound, again, and I just, it just kind of fell apart for the story for me a little bit. So that's why I gave it. So I gave it a 7. This is our review of A Quiet Place. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Do you agree with us? Do you love the movie? Or do you think of something else? And also, like and subscribe. We always appreciate your support. And thank you. Bye-bye.